I am pretty sure the owner of this house is going to wonder what the hell I'm doing if they look out their window and see me, but... Mm. Anyway, here's an update on all of the things. I went to the dietitian yesterday. That was a good experience. So it was my first one-on-one -on -one with a dietitian. She was really sweet, except her office was boiling hot. Apparently it had been freezing cold before I got in there. And so I don't want to offend anyone, but I'm just going to say this. It is my experience that very slender people don't retain heat well. And so they are more affected by air conditioning than not slender people, people like me. I respond to the air conditioning by let me soak it up. Well, anyway, my dietitian and the person with her were slender people and they said before the appointment, it had been very cold in the room. So they turned the heat on for a little bit. It's like 91 degrees outside and you turn the heat on in your office. And it wasn't until we were done that I finally said, gosh, it's hot in here. And she's like, oh, I turned the heat on right before the appointment, but I shouldn't have. Because once I started talking and realized I was warm, I'm like, I didn't say this, but the minute you realize that you're warm because you're talking, it is too warm in your office. You should have gone, excuse me, stood up and turned on the air again. Uh, just like, really? So it was a really good appointment. Lots of good points. Um, corrected me on some stuff, steered me in the right direction on some other things. They are exactly the opposite of what I expected from a dietitian. She was like, would you like to be weighed? I had an option. Honestly, this is all stuff that like fat activists have talked about. You know, you shouldn't have to weigh yourself. There's no reason to weigh yourself. I'm going to see a dietitian. There is a reason to, to be weighed and they're giving me the option. So that was super nice. I went ahead and did it. The number on the scale doesn't bother me anymore. I think at the appointment it was like 306. I don't know how to explain how I feel. Essentially, it's a number. Would I love that number to be like in the mid 100s? Yes. Would I like that number to be below 200? Of course, but it's not, and that's what body I'm dealing with, so I'm fine. She gave me the option to be weighed. She didn't shame me for anything. She asked lots of questions. She worked with my preferences. It was kind of amazing. It was beyond the good experience I could have imagined. So that went really well. She didn't even shame me for having a pint of ice cream. And I did a video maybe about food not having any moral value. I don't know if I actually published it or not. But essentially, that was her message that they're not good decisions and bad decisions. There are decisions you need to be mindful of. So the appointment with the dietitian went really well. She was glad that I was getting some movement in. I'm glad that I was getting some movement in. I had to make an appointment with the workout place that they have, especially because my goal is not a number on the scale. My goal is strengthening my knees. I would like to, and I think I've explained this before, not haul myself up out of the chair, not have to shove myself out of the car. I want to just be able to stand up. So strengthening my knees is what I'm focusing on. I probably also need to strengthen core muscles and stuff like that. I'll get there. I know weight training is going to be important and I will get the training from the weight loss gym thing it'll be great I had an amazing Labor Day weekend so for those who aren't familiar I am separated from my husband but we live together we parent together we're on the same side with our kids and when we're not we have respectful discussions we had some family-based therapy and we were able to have lots of good discussions there and so parenting wise we're doing pretty good relationship wise we don't really have conversations so on Sunday I was about to take a nap and my husband comes downstairs he says I really want to go to the Texas Roadhouse I'd like to take you out to lunch I was like oh Oh, okay. So we went out to Texas Roadhouse and we had the most amazing conversations. I can't tell you how refreshing it was. So we're separated and I know we're separated, but I haven't had the conversation with him that I need to get a definite statement about how our relationship stands. Every once in a while, he'll mention that he talked to a coworker and he said, yeah, we're separated. And that always comes as a little bit of a shock to me because we haven't talked about that. But we were able to talk about our eldest child and the desires that we have for them. We were able to talk about parenting and things that I can do better. And this isn't to say that he's perfect, but really I am a safety blanket for the kids. I need to push the kids a little harder. I can do this. It just takes a little bit of work on my part. So we talked about that and then I was able to ask him, where do you see yourself in five years? What's going on here and what are we doing? Are we gonna split up or what's gonna happen? He says 
he pictures himself in an apartment somewhere commuting to work. He pictured me living with my mom and taking care of her. So we were able to have a discussion about, are we ever gonna split? Personally, I feel like my needs right now are, I need my own space. And if that means the only way I get my own space, if that means I find a house with him and I have my own space in that house, great. My own space means a room that's fine where I can shut everybody out if I need to. It doesn't necessarily mean my own kitchen. It doesn't mean a separate apartment completely. It could be those things, but it minimally means my own, my own room that I can do what I want with. So we had these amazing conversations. We talked about, we need to work on in case of documents. We talked about funeral planning, I guess. Such great conversations. It was all of the hard stuff. It was hard stuff for me. And once we got going, it wasn't hard anymore. It was I was just able to have those conversations. So that was my amazing freaking weekend. That might be the majority of the update. I hope everybody has a great rest of their week. I hope all of the things you have on your to-do list get done. I hope your pillow is always cool when you lay down. And I hope that that thing that you're dreading getting done is not as bad as you anticipated. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I think I already said that, but I'm gonna say it again and Bye. My hair, I'm about to chop off all my hair. Which I don't believe this channel has ever seen me with truly short hair. But I'm talking like a number five all over with the trimmers. It's so hot. Like, and I know the heat wave is only supposed to last like Friday and this weekend. It's going to go down and it's going to be okay but my hair is not quite long enough to pull up in any kind of style off my face and the best I have are these like headbands that peel it back and then I sleep in them and oh I just I need the temperature to cool down or I need to cut off all my hair and I'm afraid the hair is going to win And I was trying to grow it out. I was trying to grow it out. It's just the worst in the summer. This is why, and and I love that short hairstyle. My super short hairstyle, I love it. I feel good with it. Like this is the best I've ever felt with a hairstyle. I love, love, love it. Why don't I just cut my fucking hair? Would I have time to do that before work? No, I can't do it myself. I have to go somewhere. I could do it after work. Fuck, I think I'm cutting my hair today. <laughs> I'll include a picture. All right, bye for reals. <laughs>